What's going on YouTube? Welcome to the Vape Stylist channel. And today, I wanted to talk about Bill Kits. Bill Kits. <clears throat> they normally come with scissors, screwdrivers, flatheads, tweezers, flush cutters, and a pair of pliers. Some have ohm readers, some don't. Um, nowadays devices, they all have a built-in ohm reader inside of them. So, do you really need to buy a kit with an ohm reader? Eh, it's kind of it's kind of up to you. Uh, the cool thing is the ohm readers. Um, some of the cool master ones they use eighteen six fifty batteries. So if you have a single eighteen six fifty battery laying around, it's perfect because you already have the battery going inside of it. So you're not really having to go search for batteries. You always you should always have one with you. Bill kits are nice. They help the new vapors. They help the old vapors. Um, people are getting into building their own coils, rebuilding, rebuilding drippers, rebuilding tanks, or just using an RBA section in a, in a, in a standard tank. Bill kits are very nice to have. And today we're going to be looking at the Geek Vape Bill Kit. Today for this video, I am vaping on the Crown version 3 in a DNA Triad 200 from Lost Vape. All right, so today we are looking at the Geek Vape Bill Kit. In the Bill Kit, you get your precision screwdrivers. We'll just take everything out here real quick. You get a flathead screwdriver, which is just what I use to build my coils. Uh, wrap everything around this for, on the go. In that particular size, I believe that's a three millimeter. You get a screwdriver in there. Smaller screwdriver, another flat head. These are nice. A lot, of, a lot of drippers, not a lot of them, but some of them use flat head screws in there, and these ones always fit or RTAs, whichever one. And then you get an Allen head key um, screwdriver. This is awesome because a lot of geek bait products use Allen heads, and this typically fits in the majority of the Allen heads. You get a pair of scissors. These are nice on the go. Small, quick, fast. They do cut very well when they're brand new. I've had these for quite some time. I definitely need to sharpen them. They don't cut as much as easy anymore, but they still cut really well for how much I've used them. You get a set uh, the tweezers, these are awesome whenever you're sticking your cotton down inside of your RTAs when you're trying to get your wicking right. Um, I use these to scrape out the cotton too. It's, fa it's a fantastic product to have. Uh, if I could have multiples of these in here, if I could fit them, I definitely would. Um, there's some other stuff that I keep in here that I can't, where it enables me to add an extra one, and I'll show you the team in a second. So you also get a pair of pliers. Pliers are awesome. If you don't have ceramic tweezers, you could use the pliers to pinch your coils. Or um, what I like to do is, since I do use this pair of ceramic tweezers, I like to use these to pull out old gunky coils. Uh, I don't really, I don't want to touch on my hands. I'm a little particular about that. So I use these to pull out old gunk coils. Um, the the pull the cotton out. Sometimes the cotton swells up inside the the coil. Um, just after being used for a long time and you get all that that yucky stuff on there and it causes the coils to stick really the cotton to stick really hard to the, to the coils you also get a pair of flush cutters uh, these are not the flush cutters that you get in the kit I happen to lose mine so I just went and got another set of flush cutters um, and I put these inside of here these work really well too just like just like the original ones the original ones are perfect they're beautiful um, and it makes it this these are your best friends you gotta have these um, now that everyone's using uh, these nice big old beautiful coils the Clapton's and the stagger fuse and the aliens it's kind of hard to screw your coils down like it used to be able to with the, the what I call them basic builds where this is a single strand of wire 
tie, tie it down to leads and twist a wire off. You can't really do that so much anymore because because these new coils I was using are just too thick. So having a pair of flush cars is perfect. So this is what I take with me. I also add in uh, a coil jig, coil winder, and it tells you the different levels of the steps, so 1.5, 2, 2.5, 3, 3.5. I will use this, the wrap coils, if I want something like a 2 or a 1.5, I'm making micro coils. Uh, if I want something like 3.5, I will use this because I don't have a 3.5 inside the kit. The largest screw, I want to say, is a, yeah, the largest screw is a 3. So you don't really have that option to use. Uh, a 3.5 unless you put a 3.5 screwdriver in here um, but that's completely up to you that's just I'd rather have this and also whenever you're adding your putting your coils inside of the of your of your of your tank or your or your dripper you're able, when you slide your coils in here it'll let you know okay this is a 3.5 coil awesome so I'll shove that in there so I also carry inside my kit an Allen key. This Allen key is a little bit smaller than the one I give you in a kit, but I see I, I've noticed that a lot of the RTAs and drippers that I use, some of them use this size. So I just carry an extra one in here just in case I don't just in case I'm not using a, any Geek Bait product and I need this key. And I'm always have it on board. Ceramic tweezers. Ceramic tweezers are your second best friend. It helps you pinch your coils whenever you're when you're preheating. You can also I like using these because I when I scrape my coils to make sure I get all the hot spots out. I use these while I'm heating it up at the same time uh, versus using um, it's not like a screwdriver or something because you can't really heat it up while you're using the screwdriver because it causes short. Uh, so people heat them up and then they scrape them, they heat them up and they scrape them to kind of work the hot spots out. I like to do it at the same time. It saves me some time. The whole purpose of me using this kit, this supposed to be a quick process um, versus me bringing my huge build kit out with me. This is supposed to be quick for me at least. Uh, for other people, this is a perfect kit just to have because it does have everything in here that you need. So I also carry extra coils inside the kit. Uh, that's a, a junk coil that came out of my, my Ferro RTA. I will put in, and obviously I don't have any coils in right now, but normally I'll put in an extra set of fuse clapped in here, um, an extra set or two. So that way if I'm out and about one of my coils short, I can just throw in a new coil right away and be good to go. I also carry a bag of cotton in here. Uh, I typically carry cotton bits in here, cotton bacon bits. Um, that's my preferred cotton to use, but Japanese organic cotton or whatever cotton you use would be perfect. A little small bag is awesome because just it just closes right up in the kit. So I'll have everything in here. I'll close it up and I am good to go. That is the build kit that I use. So let's go back up and talk about it a little more. So that was it. That was Geek Bait build kit. It's one of my favorite build kits. I use it all the time. It helps me on the fly. I carry around in my bag when I take out um, to work or if I'm just going around about the day hanging out with friends, I always have that build kit with me. I always carry extra coils inside the build kit, um, extra drip tips depending on which tank I'm using that day just in case I lose a drip tip. Um, and also a bag of cotton. I prefer cotton bacon. A lot of people I talk to prefer Japanese oak grain and cotton um, or any other of those premium cottons out there. But I personally use cotton bacon, so I always get the little cotton, ba <coughs> cotton bacon bits and I put a little bag inside of my kit and then if I need to replenish, I'll just take out from the bigger cotton bacon bags that I have. And I'll just shove it right back in a little bits bag. It's perfect. It fits in there nice. Um, outside of carrying coils, I don't really carry wire in there. Um, I don't necessarily have time if I'm taking this kit out with me to build coils from scratch. So I always tend to make a bunch of clapped-ins before I go out and just have them in a little cup. And then I, I leave them in the kit. Um, that way they're already ready to go. 
because the whole idea is for something it's a quick fix uh, when I'm out and about so I just want to make sure I have everything good to go so you snip snip cotton in and I'm vaping again all right make sure you like you like this video hit the subscribe button and I will see you next time